Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to do a part two in our series on the pliers wrenches. Now if you took a notice of a previous video, we took a look at the smooth jaw wrenches and how much force is applied to the jaw through putting a set force on the handles. Now we have our load cell vise that has a load cell built into the jaws so we know that we can apply a steady force on the jaws and emulate a grip on the handle now we found out that the average person is about 40 grams of grip yes you can go higher or lower fatigue all that other stuff a good average is 40 grams and that's going to be the standard that we test with on the channel moving forward and what we did was we put this load cell in the jaw and if you look here you can see I'm exerting force in that load cell and we measure that with this load cell so we have a load cell telling us what a load cell is getting and we're basically figuring out applied force here at the handles and what we're getting out of it proportionately with the compression load cell. So we're going to play around with this and see what we get. As a recap to the previous video, we have Made in China, Made in Germany, and Made in Taiwan. This is the Harbor Freight Icon, the Klein Tools, uh, newer pliers wrench, Chinese made, and the Knipix. So we did a bunch of various testing with these, uh, torque testing them to see if the jaws got marked up, and we looked at stuff under a microscope, all those things. This video is to basically be a part two on that, so let's get over to the load cell vise. Okay, welcome over to the load cell vise. Now what we're going to do with the load cell vise is we're going to put a pair of pliers in here, and the load cell vise is designed with a load cell mounted to this jaw. There's a load cell here and a load cell here, so when we squeeze on this, we can see how much force is being applied. We can pull on it for a negative number and we can push on it for a positive number. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pliers wrench and we're gonna take this load cell that is designed to be compressionally operated and we can put it in here and you can see we have this number increasing as I squeeze and we're gonna take this, line it up that it's pretty much right at the edge of the tool and we're gonna put that in our load cell vise and we're gonna load this to 40 grams which is the average hand strength and we're gonna see how much applied force we can get out of this tool at 40 grams So, 40 grams gets us about 550 grams of force on our load cell here with the icon. So, 40 grams to 550. And we're going to go back and we're going to check the other two pliers wrenches. Next up we'll do the fan favorite, the Knipix. We're going to do it the same way that the movable jaw is inside and right here. Center everything up. Try and get our handles in the vise here. And let's load this to 40 grams. Went a little over, it should settle in reasonably decent. 
So 40 grams on the Knipex gets you 800 grams at the workpiece. So their lever tension is quite a bit better than what we saw with this Icon. Now that shouldn't be overly surprising. Uh, I think Knipex is actually who kind of originated this tool. Um, and just to show, I'll just squeeze this manually and I can get up to that 800 grams with my hands. So I feel like we're doing a reasonably decent test here, which should be the average. We're just gonna call this the average. Last up, we're gonna get the Klein made in China. Do it the same way that the movable jaw is inside down here, like that. Try and get that centered up. We'll get our handles in the vise and we will tighten till we get to 40 grams. I don't think I'm in there straight. There we go, in the grooves. So let's get this up to 40 grams. And there we go, I went over a little bit. I'll try and get that to settle. So we have about 700 grams with the Klein and 40 grams applied. So that's kind of surprising. The Klein is actually fairly close to the forces that we're seeing with the Knipex. Yes, we're 100 grams off, but we're way higher than this set of icons. So I think this is gonna be interesting to go forward maybe we'll dig into some more pliers wrenches and this will be one of the things that we test out when we get into these things to see what are you getting for an input for your force applied okay so if you remember the last video when we tried to weigh the icon we were over the weight of the scale that I have here so I picked up another scale and we're going to see what the weight of all of these is. So we're going to start with the Klein, 17 ounces. And our new scale agrees, 17 ounces. Okay, moving on to the Knipex, 16.1 ounces. 16.2, it might have rounded up. This larger scale doesn't quite have the resolution of the smaller one. And now the icon tips this scale, but on our new scale, we get 20.6 ounces. So that's quite a bit more weight on the icon. Okay, and the last thing that we didn't cover in the other video was what size are the jaws on these things? And that's something that we can look at here. Uh, we'll take a look here at the Knipex. And that is just going to be a quick measure of how wide the jaws are. And we are looking right at 5 sixteenths by inch and a quarter. The icon, 5 sixteenths by inch and a quarter. So they're copying the Knipex pretty good there. And then the Klein, we have. That's just over 5 sixteenths. I'm gonna call it 11 32nd by, let's call that one and 5 sixteenths. It's just over one and a quarter. So the jaw being slightly deeper on the Klein than the other pliers, as you can see here, when we put them together, get that at the angle the camera can see, The Klein has a gap where the Knipex does not. So there you go again, back into the back. So Klein is a little bit deeper 
and that may or may not have impacted what our leverage readings were there. So there we go. I didn't really know what to expect. Both of these are trying to be a clone of this. So I would have thought that they would have been a little closer. The Klein, the Chinese made Klein, is closer to the Knipix than the Icon. The Icon seems to be a beefier tool overall. The Klein was softer in the jaws, if you recall that. But the, the Icon weighs more. It's just a, a beefier tool overall, which I don't know that I think everything's going to have to do with how this lever works. And if we look at that, it looks like this is bigger than this and this. So I don't know for sure, but it all has to do with the geometry of how this is working. So it might have something to do with the relationship of this with these, and this is bigger. So that might be a forfeit of leverage. We'll have to try and play around with this a little bit more. Maybe we'll get some more pliers, wrenches, and see if we can see a trend so that maybe we could look at how these things are made in a photo or something like that and get an idea of how much leverage you might get out of these. This is considerably lower than these two. Now this is 100 grams shy of this. This is still the highest, but it's really interesting. I'm curious to see the difference in how these work or the, the leverage that we get out of them. Yeah. We'll just have to see. I'm not sure on exactly why we saw such a lower number here, but I'll be curious to do some more testing on other models to see if that's consistent. So our load cell here worked out. You can see I refined it a little bit. I actually mounted a plate to the bottom of this. We just had a piece of aluminum stock kind of squeezed in there in our first video. Uh, there's some electronics here that you can't just squeeze right on, so we kind of formalized that a little bit for this video. Moving forward, we'll have a little bit better rig for testing. So I hope this was interesting. I have a lot of fun playing around with this stuff and just seeing the differences in how tools are made. And it's something that if you can look at it and get an idea of is this quality or not. Now if you know what you're looking at you can see this is much better quality than either of these two just by looking at it. But we wouldn't know other than an assumption that this would have a higher force. I'm curious to see what we can if we can spot that just by looking at it. So we'll do a little bit more testing with additional pliers wrenches. I'll see what else I can get to test out with and uh, we'll go from there. But let me know in the comments below what you thought of this test. I think we're being reasonably fair. 40 grams seems to be a decent number that is achievable for most people and is a representative number of how hard people are going to be squeezing. Yes, you can go higher, but on average, that's what I'm going for. So we'll have our load cell vise moving forward. We'll use the 40 grams as a standard, and then that way we can kind of compare to everything. We used 40 grams for our smooth jaw pliers in a previous video, and we'll continue to do that with these. So let me know in the comments below what you think. I have a few ideas on other pliers wrenches that we can get into to try out and see what they're like and maybe we'll do the full video on them and add into the spreadsheet that I have somewhere in the screen here 
that we can go ahead and that'll grow and uh, we'll, we'll have some more data to compare as we get into these. So as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.